Hello everybody, my name is Insetic, and this is the first game in my Extreme Sports series, Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarder. And this is the first level of that game, Donner Ski Ranch. This will hopefully be less of a walkthrough or a guide, and more of an LP itself, showing off the actual game rather than going straight for the goals. Because the point of this series is that these games weren't played very much, because in the wake of the success of Tony Hawk Pro Skater, these games came out a dime a dozen in all different sports, trying to get the popularity of that series for themselves. And I'm starting career mode, and I've picked a random boarder, Tommy Chezshin. I don't know who he is in real life. All of these characters are real-life snowboarders, but in the decades since this game was made, only Sean White has really stayed in the spotlight. And man, back then, he was like 14 or something. This is the character's biography, it shows birth date, hometown stance, and also special tricks. These tricks are better than the regular tricks in the game, and they'll get you a lot more points. A character can have two special tricks, and they can be special flips, grabs, grinds, manuals, or hand plants. I use flips and grabs more, so I think this character would be a good choice. And I'm going to go down now and look at his boards. We only have one board unlocked because this is a brand new career. You can see we need sponsors to unlock any of his new boards. Sponsors are basically the level goals. And as you can see, the other levels are also locked off and we need sponsors to unlock those. Looking at the list, we can see that each level has nine goals. The first three are always score based. And the fourth is sort of a speed run goal, where you have to get to the bottom in a certain amount of time while getting a certain amount of points. The fifth is to find hidden logos throughout the level. The sixth is to find a secret sponsor. And then each level has three unique goals. This levels are bust the slow signs, nose press the water tank pipe, and say cheese. You can see that one of the goals requires you to use a certain move in a certain location, in this case, nose press, which is one of the grinds. The other two don't tell you exactly how to do them, but they usually involve interacting with the environment in some way. At the start of the level, it shows you another montage of the nine goals with little teasers so you know what to look for in the case of the logos or the photographers or the hidden sponsor. At the start of the level, I'll go for the score-based goals first, showing off an uncut run down the level, maybe even back up. But after that, I'll go for goals in the order of convenience. Checking the trick list really quickly, we can see that pushing a direction, then holding the circle button is a grab. Direction, then a square button is a flip. Direction, then triangle button is a slide or a hand plant and then other various things, including bonks, manuals, reverts, but also special tricks. You can see special tricks on the square button are flips, and you can't do anything during those, but special tricks on the circle button are grabs, and you can do a flip or do a spin while holding those, but either way, those are worth so much more points than any other flip or any other grab. Simply by going off the first jump, we've gotten the first logo, and also our special meter in the top right has filled up. Once the special meter fills up, you can do special tricks. The meter in this game goes up extremely fast, but it also goes away extremely easily. If you fall over, bail, it goes away. Heck, if you even hit something and you don't fall down, but the game thinks you hit it hard enough, that whole meter will go away. I'm using my full arsenal of moves here to create a combo. I have flips, grabs, manuals, reverts. This game came out late 2001 after Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, so it has the big moves introduced in that series. However, it's lacking in that it doesn't have some of the things that series has, including the cash hidden throughout the level, or even the ability to customize your move set. And so while this game wants to be as popular as the Tony Hawk series, it doesn't even have the depth of some of those games that came out a year or two before this. And so in part because of that, and in part because the style of gameplay doesn't really work as well on levels that you can only go down once or twice, and that you'll have to restart again and again to get all the goals, the game wasn't as successful. In fact, none of the cash grabs that came out along with the Pro Skater series achieved that level of popularity. 
Some of them got sequels, but I don't think any of them ever became franchises. And just getting to the end, you see I'm collecting some of the logos, I'm passing a lot of the signs that I need to break, because this is just the first level, and everything's kind of in a straight line, because the game doesn't want you having to backtrack a lot. And this leads me to the big thing the game added, which are reset points, usually located at the end or the middle of the level. They'll take you further back up the level. And these are marked by a ski lift, a bulldozer, a snowmobile, something related to snow highlighted with a red circle with an arrow pointed at them saying, hey, go further back up in the level and get more points. Our character doesn't have the best balance given that he's a new character and he has low stats. And also, I don't have very good balance, not even in real life or in video games. So holding a combo with a lot of grinds and a lot of manuals is tough for me to do and rarely ends well. As you can see, balance is a very important stat to build up and I will be doing so once I get stat points at the end of this run. However, at the moment, I'm running out of time to get more points, so I decide to pull out the special tricks. As you can see, special tricks get you so much more points, and they are vital to getting high scores. Because with that all-right combo, I bypass 120,000, and I collect the sick score for the level. With two level goals completed, we get two stat points to use on our character. Each character has five stats, one more than the first Tony Hawk, but less than the others. There's Ollie, Spin, Speed, Landing, and Balance. Ollie is how high you jump when you jump. Spin is how fast you spin when you spin. Speed is how fast you go down the course. Landing is how rough of a landing you can have without falling over. And balance is how easy it is to continue manually or grinding. So I'm going to pick speed and balance since at least to me those two are the most important. I think spin might be the least important since I prefer to flip my way to the ground. And usually I don't have time to do any more spins past that. But we're not going to save because we're going to save once all the level goals are done. And now we get to pick and choose what we want to do. I will collect the Donner logos and the secret sponsor in my next run. We've already seen the first Donner logo off of the first jump, so it's just a quick jaunt over there. Going down the level and getting the rest of the logos, you'll see what I mean when I say this game isn't as suited to the goal-based format that the Tony Hawk series uses. Because you can't take on a lot of level goals at once. You can only really complete one or two, or maybe three of the goals that aren't the score-based goals in any one run. And you can see there's 20 or so seconds of downtime in between the logos. And this is just the first level, so the logos aren't hard to get, and they're pretty hard to miss, and you can get them all in one run down the mountain, but that's definitely not going to be true for the later levels. Also, the time limits don't offer you as much time to go all the way back up to the top and complete an entire new goal on another trip back down. But that's the third logo. You can either go off of that quarter pipe or you can grind the top of it and jump. And the fourth logo is on this ramp, which we picked up while just trying to get a high score. So for the later levels, I'm thinking of cutting out some of the footage like if I mess up and I have to go down the level, reset, come back, I'll probably cut that out. Down here I almost missed the secret sponsor. You have to grind the car and open the garage. This is really the first example of the game not telling you exactly how to get somewhere. And I admit it took quite a bit of trial and error for me to figure out the first time how to get in that garage. With the time limit we have, I will be able to complete the nose press the water tank goal. However, I don't think I'd be able to make it to the bottom of the course again, so I wouldn't be able to complete the other two goals. I have very limited options, but luckily this time I do have an option, so we'll be going with that. Whoa. 
coming over the hill where we got the second Donner logo. You could see the water tanks to the left side. It's just a matter of getting on top of them and then nose pressing this rail. And nose press is holding forward and then holding the triangle button. We can also end the run at any time and it'll complete all the goals that we have done. So we will go look at the results screen again. With four goals complete, we get access to the second level, Aspen, and with six goals, we get two more stat points. I'm going to round him out near the bottom because I like to be a jack of all trades, and I don't think I had many balance issues in that last run. Checking the incomplete goals, I'm going to save the speed run goal for last, and I'm going to complete the other two in one run. So this is bust the slow signs and say cheese. All five of the slow signs you have probably seen throughout this video just with me going down the course. Again, they're in kind of a straight line. So to bust a sign, all you have to do is smash right through it. After the half pipe, I'm going to go a bit back up the course to align myself with that jump. And then I'm going to do a trick off of it and impress the first photographer. While Bust the Slow Signs is self-explanatory, the goal Say Cheese is tougher to figure out because the name of it doesn't really tell you anything. There are four photographers on this course and you need to do a trick in front of all of them, and when you've done that, you will complete safe cheese. So the goal isn't called trick in front of the photographers, it's called say cheese. So that might be a little confusing to some people, like me. And while others might say there's too much hand-holding if you just call it trick in front of the photographers, there's also another problem in that it's tough to find these guys if you don't have a guide. Like one of them, at least to me, is out of the way because you're guided by the level to follow a certain path. Now the fifth slow sign is coming up to the right. You've probably seen it in this video quite a bit. And then the next photographer is to the left. And what I'm gonna try to do is manual on the water because it is possible and you're supposed to manual on the water and then grind the rail that's in front of him, but just grind it after the lake. It's so much easier. So that's three out of the four photographers I need to trick in front of, and let me just say, the fourth is not in the 200 feet between me and the end of the level. So we're going to have to go back up to the beginning and then go back to about the midway point. The next photographer is over by the water tanks, which is what I mean when I say it's kind of out of the way, because there's one half pipe and a couple water tanks, whereas the other way it's an entire ramps and rails and all kinds of fun stuff. While we've got another 20 or 30 seconds to burn, I'll mention that I've been thinking of maybe bringing a co-commentator in for these videos. I know that I would bring a second person in when we get to the next game, but for this first game, I kind of wanted to do it by myself, but if I'm just too boring and the videos would be better with a second person, then I can accommodate for that. Past the water tanks, the third photographer is on the left side. You can either go off the quarter pipe and do a cool trick in front of him or grind past him and you'll complete say cheese. With that, we have two goals down and only one to go for this whole level. With eight goals complete, we unlock the second board. Boards work the same way as in Tony Hawk, where each board is better than the next one, but once a board is unlocked, all the previous ones have their stats boosted up to match, which is good because I like to pick my board based on style and not substance. With our last goal, we have to get down to the finish line in a minute and 40 seconds while scoring 15,000 points. Pretty easy if you've got a hand on the combo system or at least got a hand on doing a flip and a grab because going off that first jump you can get enough points but 
don't worry if you don't have 15,000, there's still plenty of opportunities left. Now you don't want to spend too much time tricking instead of moving forward, but there are some good quarter pipes on the way. And also, if this goal is too tough at the moment, then just go further in the game, level up your speed more, then come back and do it then. You don't have to completely finish a level before moving on to the next. That's just how I'm doing it in this LP. Even with a couple crashes, you should still make it if you know the route. And the route down any of the levels is usually as straight of a line as you can do. As they say, shortest distance between A and B is a straight line. I'd say with later levels, this goal actually becomes easier because there's more large shortcuts you can take, whereas in the first level, which is already pretty much of a straight line, really all you can do is get less time in the air. A quick race to the end, and I'm pretty sure I'll make it before a minute 20. The thing about this goal is that you can't get the score limit, or pass the score limit, then pause and the run. No, that's not going to count. You have to get down to the bottom in the amount of time with the score limit to get it. And with that ninth goal, we have unlocked the third level, even though we haven't even visited the second, and I'm ready to save my game. I'm just going to save my game as LP, and we'll be done with Donner Ski Ranch. Make sure to join me for the second episode when I go to the second level, Aspen Snowmass. Until then, see ya.